both of my uh, parents were teachers. My mom was a reading teacher and my, my dad was a historian. I, I always had a love for books and a, a sort of entrepreneurial spirit. I wanted to combine those somehow and I, I thought to myself, it would be great to open a bookstore. Back in like 2006 or, or so when we were doing this, there weren't like debates, there weren't third spaces, there weren't hangouts, there weren't places where uh, people would engage in the political ideas of the day. And, and so we determined that uh, the, the way we could help would be to create such a space. I remember at one point we invited all the city council candidates to come to an open forum. And at that time there was a read team and there were other candidates basically. And uh, if you were on the read team, you didn't go, you declined the invitation. And if you were another candidate, you would go. And, and it, was, it was just strange basically to me to, to have a political culture where you were basically told this is who you vote for, um, and that's that. You don't get to question them, you don't get to talk about issues or policy. I ended up getting appointed uh, by Linda Thompson to the Harrisburg Authority. It was right at the end of the Reed regime when everything was clearly about to come crashing down. I began to see the receipts and other things which, which truly horrified me. I mean, I saw what was clearly a paper trail of, of transactions in which uh, basically um, generate fees uh, to uh, political friends of the mayor. People may come and go in the authority and claim, that, well, they didn't realize this, they inherited something, but the mayor, the mayor knew. And that, on the surface, is what makes this criminal. The whole thing was, was absolutely unbelievable that I realized what a house of cards, uh, what a house of cards it was. And it was a disaster. You know, I was very deeply concerned about the direction the city was going. So I ultimately decided to run. Harrisburg will turn the page. We will overcome the crisis that has embarrassed and frustrated us for too long. The goal was to build back the city's finances, um, to eliminate the corruption, and, uh, and to, to slowly get the city back to some degree of normalcy. So I took office in 2014 under a Republican governor in receivership, meaning that the city uh, council and the mayor didn't actually have the power. It was the Commonwealth at that point in time. I remember there's just this huge stack of bills. The city owed millions of dollars in bills to people. It couldn't make payroll. It couldn't pay its debt. So I like to describe my first term as stopping the bleeding, but that's what I mean. I had to, I had to fight hard uh, to keep it from getting any worse. Morale, as I say, was at an all-time low. It was, it was very, very difficult. And the only thing that was going to work was going to be um, slow, steady, competent leadership that would that would begin to give people faith that they would get paid. We uh, we pinched every penny and we 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 turned it around. We began our we got our first surplus, meaning we we uh, we took it out of deficit. I know a, a, a lot of people today, you know, have moved into Harrisburg within the last couple of years. They've been attracted to. The same things I was originally attracted to, the relatively low cost of living, to have a high quality of life and um, to, uh, to, to live here in the city. But they, they, uh, some of them don't quite know exactly you know, how far we've come and, and where we were. I'm Eric Pappenfuss, and I approve this message.